Hello everyone, this is Kelly at the Inky Gnome for Missing Stamps YouTube channel today. And I am doing a standard A2 sized card today using kind of a full masking technique. You know, we forget sometimes um, if you've been stamping for a long time, you think you need to use every stamp in a set. And I forget sometimes that you can use one image that you really like in multiple uh, stamping to make many of that one image. Uh, go together on a card. So I am a big fan of frogs. Um, so I'm first just uh, I'm using my Misty to stamp where I'm going to put those frogs and you'll see later how I um, cover those up. You can kind of see on the side I have a bunch already stamped and cut out. I used a cutting machine um, to cut a bunch out at once but you can also just fussy cut. So I did some of the little butterflies, a bunch of the little log stools, and five of the frogs go on top of the logs. So I just stamped those along the bottom of my card front panel so that I could see where those are going to go um, in um, comparison to my stenciling I'm doing. And I'm using both the Scene Builder stencil and the Rainbow Sky stencil set, which is a set of four stencils that has a bunch of different great um, scene builder parts as well. Um, there's this great cloud that has the also outline to do some details on it. So I'm first going around in a lighter blue and using a little bit darker shade to do that detail that's along the edge of the cloud, which is a lot of fun. It also has these fun little birds that you can place wherever. I'm just going to do a few of those for up in the sky. Um, it has a sun, it has layered rainbow, so you can do the different stripes of the rainbow, different colors easier. Um, and these great, um, you could use these for uh, different like water puddles. I'm just using it to kind of put some green uh, for grass along the bottom where the um, log stumps are. But I'm going to do a few different uh, kind of layers of them, just moving it around in different areas so that the places that I hit twice with the ink, I'm using the same color of ink um, every time that I go back on this, but just layering it over a few times the parts that are going over uh, one that was previously stenciled will show up in a darker color so that adds a little bit of dimension. And just going in with that too to kind of fill in spaces in between. There's also these great um, little little uh, grass like puffs that <laughs> I'm gonna use a few different colors of ink. Both of the both the green that I al already used for the bigger panels back there, and also a darker a darker green to get a little more color in there. I'm just taking the I did that cloud up top and left a little bit of white space open to get the edge of that um, more more seeable, I guess. Um, and I'm just uh, used the same light blue that I used for the first cloud stencil and just kind of filling in behind where those frogs will be uh, to kind of fill in the rest of the blue sky. Now I'm using that little grass and just doing a couple different colors of green, the one that I already used in a darker color to kind of stand out a little bit. And just putting those kind of uh, throughout there. Now you can see I'm just showing how those are going to go over that and then it'll cover up um, the background that I made so that the frogs will be in front of that um, coloring that's already on there without having to mask off every single one by uh, cutting them out and sticking them on and peeling them back off. So it's just a little quicker way. Plus you can add a little dimension um, by popping these up if you wanted, but also just them being placed on front of that, in front of that background like I'm going to do here um, just on the same layer. It still um, adds a little bit of dimension when you see it on there. Now I'm going to do them in a kind of rainbow pattern. So I'm picking, I'm using my tri-blend markers and picked a color for each frog. And I'm starting with kind of a dark pink 
blend and I use um, you can do uh, easy blending with these a couple of ways you can either go around the edges which I'm doing with most of these kind of go around the edges where you want a little bit darker um, with the darkest shade in the marker and then kind of work your way down to the middle and then the lightest shade um, you could also start by coloring the entire thing with the lightest shade and then going in for some detail with the darker colors and then go back to the lighter shade if you need to kind of pull those back in um, to blend them a little bit. But I'm just going to do uh, a little bit of darker around the edges and just pull it in just so there's a little bit of extra dimension on them. I'm also going to go in right now I'm leaving the um, eyes and the bellies white and just coloring the outsides of them. I also just colored all of the stumps two different brown colors. Um, two with one color and three with another uh, blend and I'm just going to glue those right over the places that I had stamped kind of as kind of placeholders for those and I'm just putting them right on the base layer and not popping them up with anything but still they're die cut so there's a little bit of dimension but like I said you could also use foam tape or you could do multiple um, cutouts of these to add some more um, dimension to it to add a little bit of height to it. I'm just putting them right down there and then I'm going to pop my little frogs right in order in a rainbow order across the front of there. This is from the Say Cheese stamp set, these cute little frogs which has some larger mice that have little hats on that look like a frog, an owl, and a penguin. And they also have the little guys here that are a frog, an owl, and a penguin that you can use without them too. And there's also some really cute sentiments that go along with the set that go along with those specific animals, but also a few general ones as well. It's a really great set if you love uh, cute little animals. Um, I love frogs, so I was looking for a set with a frog in it and what, decided to use that one frog multiple times in here to get a lot out of them. And I also had cut out, stamped and cut out some of the little butterflies from this set. So I also used the same uh, tri-blend markers that I used for my frogs and just colored a bunch of them different colors that I had used previously. And I'm just kind of scattering them around the frogs here kind of trying not to put the same color next to one that's um, the same color as the frog but just the larger ones you can kind of bend in the middle to have them pop up a little bit and just sticking them on there I'm going to use one of the sentiments from the set and just stamp that right on a, a strip of white cardstock and use my scissors to just cut off the edge and place it right on the front. This way I'm going to pop up with a little bit of thinner foam tape um, just to have that kind of pop out in the middle there. You could also put, there's some longer sentiments like this in the set, but you could also just put an entire strip across your card front or if it you had it going um, in the portrait um, direction would fit nicely across the entire uh, card front. I'm just going to put that on the front there and place this. I, I placed the card panel I was using on just a white folded um, card base. And I decided to go back in. Normally I would have done this before I put the front on, but I decided after to go back in and I wanted to glitter up their little bellies and a little, uh, some little detail lines on the butterflies. So I'm just using a quickie glue pen uh, to just color in that white section of their bellies and using the lid of my glitter as a scoop to pour that over there. Just make sure that to tap that out off and then I'll just go in with a brush quick to clean it up any of that stuck to anything else but that gave it just a little bit of extra shimmer um, on the frogs there and I love how this turned out. The cute little frogs. Love it. So if you love cute little animals, this is a great set to use and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.